Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to be smoking some beef cheeks on an offset smoker and then confeeing them in their own beef fat to render down and create a really juicy and tender bite of barbecue. Let's get the pit fired up. Here we have the beef cheeks. As the name suggests, they come from the cheek of the cow and they're an incredibly hard working muscle with the cow chewing grass and grain all day long. Here you can see there's a lot of intermuscular fibers and fat, but with time it actually renders down and all the collagen turns into gelatin and ends up becoming a really juicy and tender bite of barbecue. So we're just gonna go around the beef cheek and take off all the thin corner bits. These are just gonna burn up when we throw it on the smoker and it's really not gonna create a nice bite of barbecue. So we're just gonna look for all the thin bits. We're gonna come across here and we're just gonna pull them off. And that's all there is to it. You got a perfectly trimmed beef cheek. We're gonna start making the rub for these beef cheeks and we're just gonna be using a simple two to one ratio of coarse ground black pepper and diamond crystal kosher salt. It's gonna grab our measuring cup. This is a one cup. And then we're gonna pour our pepper straight into this. Try and get as even to the top as you can, just so you have a really accurate measurement. And we're gonna pour it straight into this foil tray here. Now we're gonna take our half cup measurement and we're gonna pour in our diamond crystal kosher salt. Fill it to the top as even as you can. And we're gonna throw this straight in here. And that's all there is to it. Two to one ratio. So we're just gonna get our hands in here and we're gonna give it a really nice mix. I absolutely love the smell of salt and pepper. That's really all there is to it. This ensures that you can almost never over salt your meat. So it's really handy. And when all this pepper actually goes on the smoker and starts to bake onto the meat itself, it creates a really crispy and deep flavorful bark. So we're gonna grab our beef cheeks and we're gonna toss these straight into the salt and pepper mix. Normally I'd use a binder on these, like a bit of wash your sister sauce, or maybe even a bit of beef broth. Uh, but these they've got still pretty tacky. They've come straight out of the vacuum seal bag. So they're feeling pretty, pretty good. And I don't think we're gonna need any binder to help stick the salt and pepper to the beef cheek itself. So we're simply just gonna place this straight in, get a little toss, make sure you get all the edges. Right. Give it a little shake, maybe fill in all those spots. And that's it, simple as that. So we're just gonna go through all the beef cheeks now and we're gonna cover these up. Give that a little shake. Same on that side. Shake it off and there you go. You got perfectly seasoned beef cheeks. Alrighty, so we got the pit rolling between 225 and 250 degrees Fahrenheit. We're just gonna take our beef cheeks now, open up the smoker, and we're gonna place them evenly across the bottom rack, furthest away from the firebox. That way we don't have any risk of burning or causing any internal fires within the chamber itself. So we're just gonna take these and we're gonna evenly place them around. We're gonna face the thickest part closest to the fire. through come down in here really not much to it evenly spread though it's got a lot of room for airflow around each cheek
Fantastic. So we're just going to close down the lid now and we're going to keep the pit running between that 225 and 250 degrees Fahrenheit and then we'll check on the beef cheeks in a couple of hours. For the next part of the cook, we're going to take these sticks of beef fat and we're going to throw them in a foil pan to render down inside the smoker. It's really easy to make these. All we do is go to the butchers, ask for three to four kilos of unrendered beef fat. We're going to take it home, cut it up into small manageable sized pieces, throw it on the stove into a pot on low heat and let it render down for a few hours. Once all the fat has rendered down on the stove, we're going to let it slightly cool and then we're going to strain it into some butter molds that I bought off Amazon to create these amazing shapes which you can then throw into the freezer and keep for months on end. So when you have a cook like this, you can throw them straight in the pan, throw it on the smoker, and you've got some rendered beef fat ready to go. So while we're throwing the beef fat into the top rack of the smoker, we're also gonna check on the beef cheeks as cells and give them a spritz if they need it. So these are looking absolutely fantastic. They're starting to form a really, really nice bark on them, looking really dark, really crispy. So we're just gonna come through Give these a light spritz, make sure they stay nice and moist because you don't want any of those uh, corner bits to burn up. So I have a really nice spritz. We're going to take our beef fat and we're going to throw them straight into the top rack. Close down our lid one more time and we'll come check back on them in roughly about an hour. So a couple hours later, these beef cheeks have come off the smoker and they're looking absolutely incredible and the smell is unbelievable they've taken on a lot of smoky flavor and you can see there the beef cheek itself is looking really nice and red and we've got a really really crispy bark across all sides on all these beef cheeks i don't think there's a single bit left that doesn't have bark on it fantastic it's going to take the beef cheeks now and we're going to place them into the rendered beef fat try and push them down get them as carved as you can Piping hot. Perfect. We're now going to take some foil, tear it really, really poorly, and we're going to cover the beef cheeks nice and tight. I'm going to throw a couple layers on here. Looking good. And we're just going to repeat the process with the other tray of beef cheeks. And there we have it. Now that these beef cheeks are wrapped up in foil, we're gonna put them in a preheated oven at 130 degrees Celsius. The reason for this is that when they're wrapped in foil, they're not gonna take on any more smoke flavor if they're placed back in the pit. So this is gonna save on wood, time, and effort. And these will continue to break down in the oven and create that really juicy, tender bite of barbecue. Alrighty, so the beef cheeks have just come out of the oven. They've been in there for around four to five hours now, I believe. And we're gonna take our first look and see how they've turned out. Take off all the foil, have a go at that. Absolutely perfect. They're looking really, really soft. Perfect bark on all sides. We're gonna temp them just so we have an idea of where they're sitting at, but more importantly, we wanna make sure that they probe like butter. And that's just going straight through on all but the beef cheeks as well. Absolutely perfect. Just for the viewers, we're sitting around 190 degrees Fahrenheit. Mind you, these have been sitting on the counter for roughly 10, 15 minutes. Um, so I reckon they probably came off around that 200, 204 mark. Not a single hard spot left on these beef cheeks. Just gonna gently take these beef cheeks out of the foil tray now. We'll place them down on this chopping board. They are ripping hot, 
with all the beef tallow. I'll bring one close up to the camera just so you can have a look. Amazing bark on all sides. And even though it was sitting in that beef fat for hours on end, the bark is still being maintained. You can just see how soft these are, barely pushing. If I push any harder, my finger is going to go straight through the beef cheek itself. Absolutely perfect. I can't wait any longer with these beef cheeks. We're going to take the top one here and we're going to split it in half. Just have a look. That looks absolutely amazing see how juicy they are they've just retained all that beef fat they've been soaking in in the oven these have turned out absolutely incredible and that bark doesn't flake off at all but with a slight pull this beef is just falling apart fantastic Alrighty, so my favorite way to enjoy beef cheeks is by doing a korean lettuce wrap so we're going to take a little piece of lettuce we're going to take some samjang or otherwise known as soybean paste and we're going to place it directly on the middle here. A little bit of chili. Some raw garlic that we sliced up earlier. And a good pinch of kimchi because you can't get enough kimchi. We're then going to take a bit of beef cheek. Because it's so soft, we can sit here, tear it off and place it inside the lettuce wrap itself. We're going to fold it up. All right, we're gonna go in for a bite. <laughs> that is really, really good. Oh my God. That's the best bite of barbecue you can ever have, honestly. The pepper, the chili with the kimchi, absolutely incredible. I cannot get enough of this. And that's it guys, that's how you make some smoked confit beef cheeks on an offset smoker. But just like Chud's barbecue, we're gonna have to go in with the official taste test. I think that's a tick of approval right there. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Your support helps me create bigger and better meals every single time. Cheers.